Hello, fellow rock lovers. Look at this. Look at this interesting rock. This came from a collection of rocks I just received from a Facebook seller. A bunch of miscellaneous rocks. I don't know what this one is, but it looks interesting on the outside. You can see that sort of a vein running through it. Now, I could do a couple of things with this. I could just toss this in the tumbler, get it nice and smooth, and then see if it'll polish. That's one possibility. But I thought for this, let's try something a little bit different because we can always do that. Let's get this in the shop. Let's cut it in half and take a look. And then we'll decide. If it looks interesting, maybe we'll just polish it and, and leave it as is. Otherwise, we can still toss it in the tumbler. So come along, let's see how this looks when we cut it open. Our rock has been cut. I'm gonna call this the vein rock because of these black veins in it. How did it turn out? Let's see. Well, it's not ugly, but it's not super interesting. I don't think we should just polish these sides. Instead, I think what we should do is go ahead and toss these two pieces in a tumbler and just get it nice and polished that way. So the next time I update this video, these rocks will have been through the coarse grit stage in my tumbler and we'll see how they look. And then we'll move them on to the vibratory tumbler for the eight day four step polishing process I use. And after that, Hopefully we'll have a couple of beautiful, small, polished stones. After many weeks and weeks and weeks of tumbling, this is what's left of our little vein rock. As you can see, it fractured and broke into, well, four distinct pieces. Now, will these polish up nicely and uh, make this whole adventure worth the time? I don't know. What I'm going to do is get these started in the vibratory tumbler for my usual eight day, four step polishing process. And once that's finished, I'll bring them back and we'll take a look at them again. Our little vein rock project is finally finished with the polishing. Check it out, what do you think? I think it turned out actually better than expected. So let's do this, let's take a closer look at these rocks. This is the largest piece. Remember this broke in, well, I cut it to begin with of course, but then those pieces broke. And of all four of the pieces, this is the the largest, the most uh, intact one. And look how well this turned out. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I did not know that this would take such a good shine. It's a beautiful little rock. Look at that veining in there. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Wow. I like the way that turned out. And here's the next biggest piece. Pretty similar. A little bit of an issue there with the tumbling. Still, I think it turned out nice. What do you think? And then we have this piece here. Again, great shine, look at that. What a beautiful rock. I like the colors in it and that pattern. Very nice. And then finally, this last little piece here. Yeah, it's tiny, but it's still beautiful. Look at that. Very hard to hold. But even that tiny piece took a great shine. Well, there you go. There is the vein rock. What ultimately happened to it after several months of starting with cutting and then tumbling. I like the way it turned out. I think we have a winner here. I gotta say, when, when this rock project started, I did not have high hopes for this rock. I did not think it was gonna turn out quite this nice. So I'm very pleased. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Please be sure and check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.